Hello everyone and welcome back to another Infinite Galaxy video. Today I want to figure out the strengths of the different warships and also the benefits of the different weapons. To do this I do have here my Argo fleet. So I will empty it completely. My Argo fleet is completely unskilled that means we do not have um, a lot of benefits there there's a 1.8 percent additional um, laser weapon attack i don't have any modules installed load boost and resource gathering speed will have no effect to any of our damage skills so what i want to do what i want to start is i will just get all my fleets available here and we will take a look at um, filling up the Argo with some of these destroyers and um, frigates. So if I look here I would say we will use tier 5 and tier 6. So let's start Let's take always around 300 um, leadership that we can always have the same. Let's see, 300 gives me 23,000 power. Okay, so without any fleet, my Argo only got 1,000. If I fill it up with 300 leadership, so here we are. We are 23. So the main damage will come from our warships. To make sure that we don't have any effect from bonuses, I will remove all the crew. That will remove the crew bonus like an additional laser attack. And it will also remove the bonus we would get here from fight, tech, um, and command for different kinds of um, warship types or weapons. Okay, so no bonuses from crew. We have a level 1 Argo. 4128. So as you see, these three ports, they are completely identical. That is, um, on one side it's a little bit disappointing. On the other side that is great because that makes it very easy to compare the results to each other. So um, there's no variation, there's no randomizing of numbers, there's no um, crit chance or something like this. It will always be the same. That um, is great news. Okay, so I start this again now. Um, I should have started with the cruisers because um, it's more difficult to fine-tune the power limits there. I'm running it now at around 30k, so we'll start backwards. This, these are now the tier 6 cruisers, they are running 29.7k power. And um, I had to buy quite a few additional tier 6 destroyers. But um, yeah, you guys are worth it for me. I spent nearly all my Corium. I didn't have so much left. Um, but yeah, we will see. It will be very interesting to see the results then. So we are now aiming for the 30k value.
Okay, so let's see the results. The last thing we did, we now did it the other direction. So um, frigates tier 5, they do have missiles. We did damage of 9675. The interesting thing is for all these fights, our battle power was higher than the battle power of the pirates that we were attacking. Still, we lost all fights. So um, this is now very interesting because we can see how do the different um, types work and how do the different weapons work. As said, um, we do have the frigates first and um, these are missile type um, warships. The second one is a tier 6 frigate. Tier 6 frigate are kinetic um, weapons and we did 8385, same, around the same battle power. So in this case our frigates with missiles did a total more damage than our frigates with kinetic weapons. Let's go to the next category of um, warships. We have the tier 5 destroyers and um, our tier 5 destroyers they are laser weapon destroyers. They did do a total of 13,500 damage. Um, I just call this damage. I know this is not the damage. This is the power loss the enemy um, got. Please bear with me. Um, we caused a total power loss of 13,551, which is a lot more than we got from our frigate with the same battle power, 29.5k. Um, the tier 6 destroyers, they are missile based, which is interesting because now we can compare missile based um, from frigates to destroyers, we did 10,965 damage. So our missile based frigates, they did 9,600 damage. It's close by, but um, still the destroyers did more damage with the same battle power. The battle power of the missile frigates was 29.9k and the destroyer is 29.7k. For the cruisers, our tier 5 cruisers, they are kinetic weapon based. They did 10,700 damage. Compared to the kinetic frigates, they did um, 8,300 damage. And then the last report shows uh, cruisers with laser weapons. And um, the laser weapon cruisers did only 8,100 damage, which is the lowest damage of all battles. So you can't say um, cruisers are better than frigates, frigates are better than cruisers, or the other way around, because we got the kinetic frigates that did more damage than any of uh, the kinetic cruisers, sorry, that did more damage than any of the frigates. On the other hand, the laser cruiser did the least damage of all. Um, the highest damage we got from the laser destroyer, but very important to keep in mind. While we always had higher battle power, around 30k, and our enemy only got 26k, we did lose all fights. So I want to continue these trials now and have a look at mixing up. So I'm looking into a mix of missiles and lasers. Mainly because the laser destroyers, they did the best overall damage. I want to use laser destroyers and missile destroyers. So let's mix just destroyers for now.
Okay, as you can see, we do have a lot of cruisers, medium amount, or we do have a lot of destroyers, medium amount of cruisers. We are still fighting against their frigates. And it looks like we can't get rid of these annoying frigates. We are nearly completely down and there are still frigates left. To kill the frigates, we want to go with uh, laser destroyers. We did this. And um, obviously this was our highest damage when we were using our tier 5 destroyers. The tier 5 destroyers, they have the laser weapon which ignores 30% of the armor, but it does 30% less damage to shield. Any other combination we tried was not doing so well. I will do now one last try. Um, what we just did was um, T6 cruisers, so that means we had um, laser cruisers. We mixed the uh, laser cruisers with um, missile destroyers. And we topped this up with laser destroyers. And with this combination we were able to do only 10,965. Which is exactly, surprisingly, it is exactly the same damage or the same loss we did with our laser um, destroyer and kinetic cruisers. Okay, so um, there are no laser frigates. Therefore, what we are now going to do is we will try laser cruisers, laser destroyers, and missile frigates. Um, Let's take a look at the last report and we only did 11396. So if we look at, let's take a look at a higher level private tier, let's say 11, we'll just attack them for fun just to see if they do have a similar setup and here you can see these have a complete different setup there are no um, frigates inside we only fight against a bunch a big number of destroyers and then the rest are cruisers so in this case I would probably go with a cruiser only setup if you know what your enemy got, you can build your fleet um, to match this. So we can do this quickly.
Okay, so we were now the first try run we did was versus level 6 pirates and as you could see we were honestly only or mainly fighting the frigates of these pirates. It is not very surprisingly that um, in that case the most damage was coming from the destroyers we had. Interesting for me was um, that it is the laser destroyers that perform best against the frigates, but as um, we can see in the Excel sheet that I will show you in just a few seconds, here we switch over, you can see that frigates do have very very high armor values. So if we look at a tier 5 frigate, we talk about nearly 4k armor compared to 1800 HP and 300 shield. Every second frigate type gets a switch over. So there are some with very high armor, low shield, and then with high armor, medium shield. HP goes up more or less constantly, but every second one got very high armor, very low shield, and then the other second ones or the other once got um, medium or still high armor and medium shield. So um, thinking about this, it does make sense that the highest damage was coming from our laser destroyers. After the laser dis uh, after the pirates level six, where we killed mainly the frigates or only the frigates, we tried pirates level seven which are composed around 60 to 65 percent out of destroyers. So all our damage there went against the destroyers. We did not try the frigates there because you already know that they don't do much damage. We tried the destroyers versus destroyers but they also did not perform very well. Um, Tier 6 destroyers, which are running missiles, they did 5700 damage. Tier 5 destroyers, which are running laser, did 9700 damage. So also there, the laser did more damage than the missile, at least from the destroyer. And um, if we do take a look into... Excel and we do look at the destroyers we can see something similar the values are not that crazy HP goes up constantly every second destroyer got higher armor but um, if you look so first it is opposite of um, the frigates tier 1 for the frigates got high armor tier 2 got lower armor it's the opposite for the destroyers and second the values are much lower than the values from the frigate so um, the armor is not so crazy high anymore for these destroyers anyhow we did do the most damage there with the destroyer tier 5 which is using using laser the other two ships we tried against it were cruisers because we already know that cruisers do have a damage advantage against um, destroyers and our tier 6 cruisers which do have laser weapons. I was expecting that these would perform best. They did 15,988 damage so 16,000 damage. Our tier 5 cruisers, which run kinetic weapons, they did 19,400 damage. So the kinetic cruisers performed better against the destroyers than the laser cruisers. While the laser destroyer performed better than the missile. And we also know that the laser destroyer is performing better against frigates. So what does that mean for me? How will I build up my team? I will not use 
a lot of frigates. I will use a few missile frigates just um, to have something at the beginning. Tier 5 frigates, they will have very high armor because every uneven number for the frigates will have high armor. Um, they do have missiles, tier 5, tier 7, tier 9. Um, I will use these tiers to have some initial damage that reduces the shield of my enemies as fast as possible. Um, I will aim for around maybe around 20% um, for the frigates. Then I will get laser um, destroyers. Laser destroyers, they will take out the enemy frigates fastest and um, they will still do the most damage against other enemy destroyers. So missile frigates, laser destroyers and after this it will get interesting. Um, in both our test cases the kinetic cruisers did most damage. Against the frigates they did 10,700 damage and the laser cruisers only did 8,100 damage. Against the destroyers the kinetic ones did 19,400 damage and the laser did only 15,988 so 16,000 damage. Um, a little bit surprised by this I'm gonna have a look together with you quickly to this destroyers. We were using tier 5 for the kinetic weapons. So um, we don't have any disadvantage there. We do have an attack of 518. If we go to down 418. If we go to up 830. Sorry. To up 630. So it's not like the damage is out of line. If we look at the power, the power increases 700, 800, so the power also increases normally. Um, so there seems to be nothing wrong with these tier 5 cruisers. Um, they do have the increased damage against destroyer, reduced damage against frigates. Um, the tier 6 destroyers, they use the laser weapon, the power is also normal. Attack goes up normally. I will also quickly check in my Excel sheet if there's anything. I will take you with me there. So, as you can see, So as you can see I do have all the cruisers here. We are we're looking at the tier 5 and tier 6. Um, we do have the power here, HP, armor, shield. So um, if we look at these, these are very constant values. There's not a value that is suddenly spiking up. So this means for me my composition will be kinetic cruisers. These are the uneven numbers. Ha. So these are the uneven numbers. These will be the cruisers I am aiming for. I want to use laser type destroyers and missile type frigates. So these will be my recommendation to everyone who is going to set up their fleet. Get frigates with missile.
around 20% I would say. Get destroyers with laser. Um, I would go with 30% here. And then 50% cruisers with kinetic. Um, the cruiser damage was okay against frigates. Um, the kinetic cruiser damage was place 3, nearly the same as the missile destroyer, so nearly place 2, there were only 200 damage difference. Um, the kinetic damage, uh, the damage from the cruisers was much higher against destroyers, and um, I can't test it against um, just cruisers. I did not find any enemy that is composed only of cruisers. So, but cruisers do not have a disadvantage against um, other cruisers. They would have um, an advantage against, against destroyers and the disadvantage against frigates. But we already saw the first thing that dies are the frigates. So before anything is doing damage against your cruisers, there are no frigates left anymore. Um, you might even want to reduce these numbers and get maybe like 60% here. 25, 15, something like this. You want to bulk on the cruisers. 75% um, percent, 15%, percent, 10% percent could also be a very nice approach there. It depends a little bit on um, what kind of enemies you will fight. You always have the chance to um, move your ships around a little bit. As you were able to see, it seems to switch over also from the pirates, so the higher pirates you have, just check, do they have um, a lot of frigates? Increase the number of destroyers. Um, don't they have any frigates? Increase the number of cruisers. That is my recommendation there for you. And um, then you should be able to perform really well. The next thing to think about is, now we do mix all the different damage. We mix missile, laser and kinetic unfortunately. Um, as the cruisers seem to be the best damage, the cruisers are the best damage against destroyers. But we do need the destroyers to get through the enemy um, frigates. It might also be an option to go with laser cruisers. They do have a lower damage output than the kinetic cruisers, but this would allow you, so two things. First, if you get your tech high, kinetic is first. That is nice, but they um, camel nerfed the kinetic weapons. Let me get quickly some crew inside there again so I can show it to you. We do need crew with high tech values. I will have to upgrade my crew a little bit again. It got a little bit low after the last patch. Let's see if we can get a bonus. If we take in Trek Wagner, that's this guy. Okay, so we got our tech bonus now a little bit higher. This will now end at 20%. Before you got a 40% bonus. Giving your kinetic weapons a 20% bonus, that is very nice. Um, there are no kinetic destroyers, so you can only go with missile or laser. Going to the laser bonus, you will need really a lot of um, 
of text there but and that's very important all of you got Helen Gremium and you do get her data ID chips from some quests she gives you pretty high laser weapon attack bonus so there's already 11.5 percent on the laser weapons then there is another um where is he there there is tony johnson he's a common um crew member so he gives you as soon as you got him full 8.4 percent these green guys they are amazing because you get their data chips all the time so that means very very soon you will have 8.4 percent bonus on laser from tony you do have the bonus from helen which in my case is another 11.5 percent so i already get my 20 percent from the crew which is matching with the tech bonus i am able to get here but if i use this on laser weapons i get the bonus on destroyers and cruisers so we saw before our cruisers were doing 16k versus 19k if i now add 20 percent to the 16k so we did had 15 9 8 8 times 1.2 i will end up at 19.1k damage i do have a 14 percent bonus for the kinetic we did 19.414 times 1.14 so that's 22. Um, this only makes the difference of around 10% if I take kinetic or laser. And um, that will be the point where I very likely will decide to go with laser cruisers because of the crew members I do have available. Um, this way I can stack up and that's now the last very important part i can stack up the weapons on my flagship because each of these weapons give you a fleet effect to increase like laser weapons kinetic weapons or missile weapons if you put seven laser weapons inside there that's another 30 percent increase of damage okay so i hope you like the video um please give it a thumbs up if you like it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it i need the thumbs up if you have any feedback please leave it in the comment section um please subscribe to the channel this would be great the more people su subscribe to the channel the more likely it will pop up also for other people when they start searching for videos for the game and i hope that we can get more players as soon as the game gets live we want to give them as much help to start as possible. Hope to see you on the next video. Have fun and enjoy it.